Alkanes are really good compounds for talking about the three-dimensional structural aspects of organic molecules because they don't have any oxygen, nitrogen, halogen atoms to get in the way of our focus. They don't have any double bonds or triple bonds to distract us from simply looking at the three-dimensional structures of atoms attached to carbons. In the first lecture, we'll look at ace-like compounds, what we call conformations, the exact spatial orientation of atoms, and look at three ways that we commonly use to represent those three-dimensional relationships in acyclic molecules. The second lecture will actually apply one of those ways, called the Newman projections, to the analysis of conformations in a simple molecule, where we're specifically interested in how the atoms are related to each other when they're attached to adjacent carbons. The third lecture will look at cyclic alkanes. They're quite different. Now we have a ring which constrains the way things can rotate, and for small rings, rotation is essentially not possible. For larger rings, rotation can happen, and you'll see the difference between small cyclic alkanes and larger cyclic alkanes. The most important larger cycloalkane is cyclohexane a ring that has six carbon atoms, and we'll study the cyclohexane conformations specifically. And then we'll talk about disubstituted cycloalkanes, including disubstituted cyclohexane. When we have a ring and have two substituents attached to that ring, those substituents can be on the same side or on opposite sides. That's a different kind of stereochemistry, and we'll have to talk about that specifically for cyclic compounds. Once you're done with these five lectures, you'll understand the basics of looking at three-dimensional aspects of organic molecules, and you'll be ready to apply those to understanding chemical reactions of more complicated molecules.